The days are evil. Mm -hmm. We are living in the evil days. Yes. And the days that we are living, they are the evil days. Mm -hmm. If you don't pray, whoever you are, either you are a woman, either you are a bishop, either you are a prophet, either you are an apostle, either you are whoever, if you don't pray, you are done. You are done. Because temptations are very many. They are very many each and every day. The temptation that comes so that you may be tempted by the devil, be tempted by your own flesh. You will be tempted in your house. You will be tempted in your, in your job. You will be tempted where you walk. You will be tempted wherever you go. You will be tempted on internet. You will be tempted everywhere. Enemy, the enemy is following you to tempt you. As long as you are living in this flesh, as long as you are living in this body, you will be tested. You will be tempted. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. If God himself was God and he had to be tempted by Satan, mm -hmm. Jesus had to be tempted by Satan. Mm -hmm. But you see, Jesus was prayerful. He was praying in the morning, praying at night. He was a person who was used in praying. And by his example, we see how he overcame the devil by praying and being watchful. Amen. What is being watchful? Heeding to what the Spirit of God is saying. When you hear the Spirit of God say something, don't ignore. Be watchful and hear what he say and pray. Because ignorance is also a door for you to be overcome by temptation. You hear the voice of God. You hear the warning. You hear the message. But you don't take watch. You don't take heed of the word of God. And you remain not praying. Then you fall into temptation. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why God is saying, pray in the church of Christ. Pray in this hour so that you may not fall into temptation. Mm. 